Hello everyone and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another tutorial on ISTQB Advanced Test Analyst. We are in chapter 3 and looking at the next topic is 3.2 specification based techniques and we are in the very first technique is about equivalence partition. As we know from the foundation syllabus already that equivalence partition is a technique which helps you to minimize your test cases by dividing a scenario into different classes or ranges and there as per equivalence partition you generally take one test case from each range so just for an example if you look at the bottom here say for example there's a scenario which consists of three different ranges then you create a partition and from each partition you would be taking one test case at a time because uh, we generally say that statement that uh, a particular range all the elements within that particular range are expected to behave same so if you just test one value we will be sure that all the elements of that particular range will respond the same but to make sure that the other range does different uh, uh, responses we do test other ranges as well but we take only one from each one of these ranges so let's quickly take uh, what we have in the advanced level so the foundation remains the same we'll be having something topped up in the advanced test analyst so here we are taking a sample question to understand that what the test technique of equivalence partition in advanced level will be. A company has set up an employee wellness program and combined it with the premium for the health insurance. The full standard premium for a health insurance policy is 400 that is dollar 400. The program has the following rules. Number one, employees who make a pledge on the honor system that they don't smoke or that they take a stop smoking class and have a BMI below 30 will get 10% off on their contribution towards the full standard insurance premium. That means somewhere around close to $1.40 discount out of 400 Second, employees who will be uh, filling in the health risk assessment with more health details will be rewarded additional 25 reduction in the premium. That is dollar twenty-five reduction in the premium of four hundred. Employees who participate in yearly health control at the company, a, receives a fifty-dollar reduction in their premium for having a BMI twenty-seven point five or less, and a twenty-five dollar reduction for BMI below thirty. So all you have to do is start relating the things what you have done already. Like for you look at the previous one, it also says BMI below thirty you're getting 10% off but with that you have a combination where you're making a pledge but here it is about yearly health control so sometime we have to look into clubbing the scenarios put together so that we can take multiple values at the same time so and the B if there are non smokers they receive an additional 50 reduction in their premium and those that have joined a stop smoking class receive a dollar 25 reduction further Smokers pay an additional premium of $1. seventy-five. So I think that would be an interesting thing to be added to a policy of insurance that if you still continue smoking, you pay an additional premium so that we pay you out good. How many test cases are needed to achieve 100% test coverage of equivalence partitions of the input parameters? When testing the specification by applying equivalence partition test design technique and what will be the maximum and minimum resulting premium so first of all team uh, we need to target the main part of this question at the bottom that is we are looking at applying equivalence partition so one thing is clear what technique is asked to you second what coverage they are looking at it's of course hundred percent coverage and for what of course the unit uh, input parameters so wherever input parameters are involved you will be taking a consideration on that so if you look at the scenario, we will quickly look into the solution of this now and understand how it is possible. So when you look at the next page of this here and we see there are different classes and we have understood the three segments, the parameter one and two are getting some kind of discount, but at the same time, they only have two options. First, employees who make a pledge. So what if they don't make? So this will have two possibilities, either they do that or they don't. Employees who will fill in the risk uh, assessment form, that is again, if they do or they don't do that. 
but when you look at third we have three categories here uh, receiving a $50 reduction in their premium having BMI less than 27.5 or less than 30 or what if it is more than that so we have three ranges here so 25 or less then 27.5 and 30 then 30 and above so we have three categories here and similarly for the smoker if they are non-smoker one category they receive this one that is $1.50 and those that have joined the stop smoking class is 25 and smokers have 75 so now if you consider this BMI calculation and you could and you could look up in the first two option we can club them together to make a combined approach and would require only three test cases to hit all the partitions now team here we are not looking further like foundation level to create separate classes for each category when it comes to advanced level, we try to hit each partition with multiple input values where we look forward to combine the assets so that we can try with one test case with multiple inputs. So that's where we would need three test cases and when it comes to the calculation of the maximum and minimum premium required to be paid, of course the maximum will be 400 plus the $75 for the smokers who will be paying additionally so 475 will be the highest uh, premium and on the other side when you talk about uh, minimum premium we have the people who are making a pledge people who are filling in the health risk assessment and people filling in the health control so you would see the total deduction would come to 40 plus 25 plus 25 plus 50 uh, and 50 which comes to 165 and if you reduce that $165 from $400, you get $235 in the premium. So finally, the minimum number, uh, minimum premium amount, which will be paid by the best, uh, the employee, will be a $235 premium. So that's all from this particular tutorial team. We were talking about equivalence partition. We'll be back soon with the next tutorial about different technique. Stay tuned for that. Should you have any query, feel free to comment below. I'll be there to assist you at any point of time. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring, and keep understanding the context. Thanks for watching the video team. Happy learning.